Hello and welcome to the Beautiful Things channel. I'm here this morning to give you a little update and some news on my next instalment of project bags which I'm going to be uploading into the shop. So if you're interested in that then stay tuned. Now First things first, I have decided to do some regular project bag updates, however, I don't have a particular style in the way that I do my bags and I make them purely for enjoyment. As we all know, it's really, really hard to make a living making anything handmade. You simply cannot um, take into account the time that is spent in creating something and actually earn a fair wage for making things. So the project bags that I make are purely for enjoyment. That being said, it means that each wave of project bags that I upload into the shop is going to be different. So the batch of bags that I show you today won't be repeated anytime soon. So if you want to get your hands on one, then you need to make sure that you get to the shop update on the right day at the right time, which I will tell you later on. In a few weeks time, I'll show you my next type of project bag and the next wave that I'm going to be uploading. And that one is super exciting. I'm hoping to be working alongside um, a very well-known indie dyer uh, to provide you with not only a bag, but some custom dyed yarn as well. I then got another two or three waves of bags planned and every single wave will be completely and utterly different. Um, so it's almost as if you can kind of spend your year collecting Beautiful Things project bags if you want to. Um, and if this particular batch doesn't float your boat, then you may well find that the next batch does. But that's just going to keep things fresh and keep things fun. So that's how I'm planning on doing my project bag updates. So I thought I'd let you know that first of all. Okay, so let's get started with this particular update. So first things first, it's going to be taking place on Friday the 21st of April at 8pm British Summer Time. So that's this coming Friday the 21st at 8pm British Summer Time. So hopefully you'll be able to be online and ready to grab the bag of your choice. The bags will be available on my website. I'm going to run the website down here, www.clairemackiness.com and there is a link right at the very top of the page in big capital letters that says SHOP. If you're there, that's where the bags will appear. And there may well be some old bags in there at the moment if you have a look and the new bags won't appear until 8 o'clock on Friday night. So this bunch of project bags, there's 12 of them all together, they are all different, so I'm going to show them to you. So the first style is the small sock zip size. Now there's two of these available, one of them is this lovely thimble print, and the other one is this super duper alpaca print. Now I'll explain how these bags work, they are all quilted. So they are all lined with wadding and they have all been quilted. So you can see the quilting stitches here. So they're extremely sturdy. They will stand up really nicely. They've got box bottoms, colour coordinating zips and linings. And the small bags always have a lovely tassel. And the nice thing about this tassel is it also has a little lobster clasp on it. So you can use it as a progress keeper if you want to. So they're really, really super sturdy. I call this my small sock because it's ideal for a sock project. It's a one skein project bag um, and these will be available at £13 each. So there's the alpaca one and there's the thimbles one. And this is particularly lovely fabric. I bought this on my recent trip to Amsterdam so it can't be replicated. And likewise, this was purchased in America at Joanne's Fabric so I can't replicate that either. So they are one-offs. The next size that I have for you is what I call my large zip. Now these are probably suitable for a shawl project. You could get a couple of skeins, possibly three in here, um, but probably just two skeins. A nice shawl project, um, a large size project bag. These ones also have tassels and they are also progress keepers and they are also quilted and fully lined with 100% cotton wadding. All of the linings in my bags vary, but they're always bright and they're always coordinating. 
so the lining that you get may vary. The nice thing about the large project bag is that it also has a D-ring on the outside so you can clip your um, stitch markers or your progress keepers. Again, it's got a box bottom and it's very, very sturdy. Um, I think I said in my last podcast that I make sure that all of the materials that I use are really high quality, all of the cottons that I use are high end designer quilting cottons um, and the wadding that I use is very good quality, 100% cotton um, wadding and again all the bags are lined so the materials are high quality and you are getting a really nicely made bag for your money. These larger bags, the larger zip ones, are £16 each and I have two in this bird design available for you. So there's two small and two large. Now these are the ones that I know quite a few of you have been waiting for. The next lot coming up are my drawstring bags. Now these ones are absolutely gorgeous. It, they were designed by me, um, so they are an exclusive Beautiful Things design project bag. Again, they are fully quilted all over. They are wadded throughout, including the top section, so it's not just a baggy, loose piece of material. The whole thing is wadded and lined with wadding. Um, and they have these really nice draw cords on them. Again, they're nice, thick, quality cords. Um, and you can see they draw up. They all have a nice long wrist strap on them, so if you like the field bag and you want to be working on your knitting with it on your wrist, then you can do that, and it's not going to fall out, it closes nice and tightly. They are double drawers as well, so you haven't just got a drawstring going through that you need to secure with a toggle, there's a drawer coming out of both sides, so they do stay done up, and they don't come undone. Again, the bottoms are boxed and they're really sturdy, really lovely quality. This particular size is my small drawstring and I would say it's suitable for a two skein project. I actually use this one when I'm working on socks and I'm doing them um, two at a time but on separate needles so consecutively. Um, I use one of these size bags because there's plenty of room inside for my pattern and my notions pouch and my crochet hook and everything else that I might need when I'm working on my socks. Um, so they're a really nice um, grab and go size and these will be £25. So I've got four of these available. The first one is in this lovely tortoise print. I've got one available in my thimble fabrics. It's gorgeous fabric. Little thimbles. I've got one available in the tropical birds. And I've got one available in the alpaca. And as I say, all of their cords match the bags um, and they're all lined in bright, funky fabrics. So they're the small quilted drawstring. And then lastly, I've got the large quilted drawstring. Now these are perfect. They're what I call sweater size. And all of you that have seen my Amsterdam drawstring bag, this is the bag that the Amsterdam bag is. The sweater size is lovely. It would fit probably up to about five skeins of yarn um, if you wanted it to. I use it for when I do my Enchanted Messer jumpers because they take loads and loads of balls. So again, it's the same drawstring mechanism. It has the same wrist strap on it, but it's bigger than my head. So it's not massive, don't get me wrong, let me go back and it might give you a better idea of the size. You can see sort of my upper body area. But they are really, really lovely. Now I've had a good look on Etsy because I wanted to sort of see the price range for a sweater bag. Um, because I actually had no idea when it came to pricing these. As I mentioned, you can't account for your time, you can only account for your materials and add a little bit. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of fabric goes into one of these bags and a lot of wadding because once again, the top section is all quilted and wadded for you as well. So these will be £35. But if you're working on jumpers and sweaters, they are absolutely perfect because you can put absolutely everything in one place and keep it all together. And they are lovely. I use mine all the time. So I'll show you the four that I have. Again, there's one in this lovely turtle fabric or tortoise fabric. There's this one here in the pussycats fabric. I'll try and show you that. 
So it's got all these fun little caps all over it and the nice beige spotty top. This one is lovely, I love this one. This is the only one that's slightly different. This does have ribbons instead of cords. Um, when I made this one, I didn't have any of the cord. And it's cuckoo clocks and little deers and teddy bears and birds. It's absolutely beautiful, again, with a spotty top. And then lastly, my personal favorite, a lovely big alpaca. Now, I love this fabric. It's so sweet, these gorgeous alpacas. So that's the last large one. So that's the 12 project bags that I have available. But I'm also going to be putting a small batch of tea bag holders into the same project bag update. And I'll show you what they are. So this is my little tea bag holder. Again, I designed this a very long time ago. And you can actually make your own tea bag holder. There is a free tutorial on the sewing directory website. So I will put the link down below um, in the description box. So if you want to make your own, do go and have a look at the pattern and the instructions. But I've made some for you. So they're these little pouches that you can keep in your handbag and they just undo with a little elastic around the bottom and inside there's four little pockets for you to pop your tea bags now I've just got four in here now but you could put up to eight you can get two in each pocket um, and it takes the large size pack tea bags and the small and if you don't have packets here you can just put normal tea bags in there without any packets it's fine once again it's just going to stop you from having them sculling around in the bottom of your handbag or a little sandwich bag with all your tea bags in which I know lots of people have so these make great little gifts and they're also very useful I know lots of you viewers are tea drinkers um, so I thought you might enjoy them and they fit really nicely inside your project bag when you're off to knit a natter so these will be £5.50. I'm not going to show you all of them because I've got lots and lots, but there's a little elephant one. Um, I've got some red spots, little woodland creatures. I've got blue raccoons and little leaves, all sorts of patterns. There's lots and lots available. So I'm just having a look. I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's fifteen, I think, of these all together. So they're available for you and they're £5.50 each. Now I have sorted the postage out for those of you who are in the US or if you're in Europe and I will let you know what that's going to be. So if you're in the UK your postage is included, it's free of charge and it is included in the cost of your project bags. If you're in Europe your postage will be £7.50. And if you're in the US, your postage will be £12. So that's the lowest I can get the postage, I'm afraid. It's not sky high, but it's not brilliant either. Um, but I will do my best and I will pop in a few little goodies if you're ordering from the US as well, just to say thank you. So that's all for now, that's all I have to show you. So where you need to be is on my website at eight o'clock on Friday the 21st of April if you want to get your hands on this first wave of project bags. So hopefully I will be posting out some bits and bobs to you next week. I'll see you soon, take care for now, bye bye.